Hi everybody, this is Book S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the largest figure I've ever reviewed, the Marvel Legends HasLab Galactus figure. That's why my setup is a little different for today. So before we take a look at Galactus and all of his accessories, let's go ahead and take a look at his heralds and their accessories. I think I will start off with Silver Surfer and his accessories first. So first up, of course, Silver Surfer comes with his surfboard. This surfboard is the same exact thing as the Walgreens Silver Surfer surfboard. It only has one peg in the board, and I really wish it had two because with one, just like with the previous figure, it's kind of hard to stabilize him because one foot's always kind of like that. So it would have been really nice if there would have been a second peg added on this board. But yeah, this figure and the accessories are exactly the same. Up next, he comes with a set of open hands. Up next, he comes with one purple effect. And I could have swore that Hasbro said there would be two of these. It's not like I don't have a ton of these laying around in my Marvel Legends pieces drawer. So yeah, it would have been cool if there would have been two. But I, I think I might have a Wonder Man effect. I think it might be the same color as this. Up next, he comes with surfing hands. Up next, he comes with a set of fisted hands. And finally, he comes with an effect piece that attaches to his board that also attaches to Galactus's hand. Now, this doesn't really want to stand on its own, and due to Silver Surfer only having one peg on the board, he does want to fall off. Because, as you can see, his left foot right there is just hovering above the board. So, yeah, that's, that's my main issue with this figure. So, now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So taking a look at this head sculpt, it looks really good. As I said, this whole figure is just a reuse from the Walgreens Silver Surfer. The only difference is the collars. Um, the Walgreens one is more metallic. I do like the collar on this one a lot more, but I do like the head sculpt on this one a lot more. Um, this one had a black upper lip and black lining around the eyes. So I definitely like this version's head sculpt just a little more. I do wish he would have had some blue tones either mixed in his paint or painted on. I think some blue tones to this figure would have looked really, really awesome. Since we pretty much know everything about this figure already, I'm going to go ahead and go over the articulation. So for his articulation, he has a ball jointed head that can look up all the way. He can look down all the way. He can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that can only move out that far. He has butterfly joints. He has swivel at the bicep double jointed elbows that can bend in that far, swivel thrust that can move side to side and up and down, an ab crunch that can move back all the way, he can crunch forward all the way, he has swivel at the waist, ball jointed hips that can do a complete split, he can kick forward all the way, he can kick back all the way, he has a swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel at the shin that can move side to side, swivel at the ankle that can move down all the way, up just a little bit, and an ankle rocker. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Nova and her accessories. So first up, Nova comes with an effects piece that fits in Galactus's hand, and unlike Silver Surfer's effect piece, this one actually lays flat on the ground. So that looks very, very awesome on her. I think that looks great. It's cast in a really nice translucent reddish-orange plastic with some yellow and orange tones painted over top of it. You could probably also use this for Phoenix. I think that would look awesome as a base for Phoenix. Up next, she comes with a set of open hands. Up next, she comes with accessory holding hands for some reason. She really didn't need these. I prefer just the open and fisted hands. And finally, she comes with a set of fisted hands. So now let's go ahead and take a look at her head sculpt. So Hasbro did a wonderful job on this head sculpt. It looks amazing. I love her hair collar. It's cast in the same color as that flame effect piece that goes on Galactus's hand. It's that translucent orange with some tones of orange and red painted over top of it. It looks so cool. Um, the bad thing is she's really top happy with this though because this is a solid piece. This isn't flexible at all. So it makes her very top happy if you're trying to get her to stand on her own. The body itself looks really good. She's done in marbleized gold. And wow, this looks really good. This is the collar that Molten Man should have been cast in instead of the collar that uh, he's cast in. He's from the upcoming Amazon 5 pack. But yeah, I really like the collars on her. She looks really awesome. I want to say this is the uh, Shriek body mold with the double jointed elbows. That might be who this is. I know this uses the standard female legs and feet. So yeah, I want to say that this is the Shriek body mold. But yeah, it looks really different in this collar. I think it looks really awesome. So now let's go ahead and look at her articulation. So she has a ball jointed head that can look down it's kind of tough to get her looking down, but when you do, if you look from the side, it kind of looks like she has a broken neck. 
it's a little tricky to get her moving. And she really doesn't look back at all because of this hair, because it's such a big, heavy piece. She has ball-jointed shoulders that can move all the way out. She has swiveled the bicep, double-jointed elbows that can bend in all the way, swiveled the wrist that can move side to side and up and down, a ball-jointed diaphragm that can't move back at all, and she can barely move forward. I'm really disappointed with the movement right there. And side-to-side -side movement is also pretty hindered. She has hips that can just about do a complete split. She can kick forward all the way. She can kick back all the way. She has a really nice thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and a swivel at the ankle that can move down all the way, up very slightly, and an ankle rocker. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the final herald, Morg. So for Morg's only accessory, he comes with his axe, and this looks really good. It's done in the same color as Silver Surfer, with some black paint to the handle there. And I think that looks really awesome. I feel like it could have been just a tad bit bigger, but overall, I think it looks really great. So now let's go ahead and take a look at his head sculpt. Hasbro really knocked it out of the park with this head sculpt. His sinister expression there looks really nice. He has red eyes with some black outline to it. And there's a really, really nice wash over his body. If you look, there's some parts where the wash is missing, and you can see that he's cast in a lighter red color. You can see between his chest right here that that lighter color is right there. And they did a nice black wash over top of it, and it looks really good. The texturing to his skin looks very nice. You can see there's a little excessive black right there on these two specks right here. He has a phenomenal hair sculpt with a nice wash over top of it. That looks really good. Yeah, that looks very awesome. To me, he is the star of the Heralds, him and Nova. Because he is all new pieces. He doesn't reuse any pieces, and I love that. This belt piece is a soft material, so it doesn't hinder his articulation at all. His bracers here are also done in the same type of material. As you can see, it's very pliable, so it doesn't hinder his articulation. And then his boots are cast in the same collar. And yeah, this is a really, really nice looking figure. I'm impressed with this. Like I said, for me, he is the star of the heralds from this box set because he looks really awesome. So now let's go ahead and go over his articulation. He has a ball jointed head that can't quite look back all the way. The hair does hinder that. It's a little pliable, but yeah, it doesn't want to move back any farther than that. Um, you can barely get him looking down. He can move his head side to side very slightly. Again, the hair does hinder that. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move all the way out. He has a swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbows that can bend in all the way, hinge on the right wrist that can move up and down and move side to side. On the left side, it moves up and down and swivels side to side. He has a ball jointed diaphragm joint that can move back that far, can crunch forward just a little bit. He can move side to side and spin around very nicely and just about do a complete split. He can kick forward all the way. He can kick back all the way. He has a very nice thigh swivel, double jointed knees that can bend back all the way. Swivel at the ankle that can move down all the way, up all the way, and a very nice ankle rocker. So now, let's go ahead and look at the devourer himself, Galactus. So first up, Galactus comes with an alternate Doctor Doom head sculpt, and this looks really good. My only complaint with this head sculpt is it doesn't light up like the main Galactus head sculpt, but it does look really nice. It has some very nice texturing to the hood there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it has some really great texturing to it. I probably won't display Galactus with this head sculpt, honestly probably ever. This was a very brief appearance in Marvel 2 and 1 back before the Fantastic Four came back to the Marvel Universe. So I do appreciate Hasbro for throwing this in, but honestly I doubt I will ever use this. Up next, Galactus comes with his normal expression mouth. He has interchangeable mouths and this is the first of them. The skin has some subtle texturing and it has some nice paint variation in the skin tone. It looks really good. Up next, he comes with this angry mouth, and this is the way that I prefer to leave Galactus displayed because I think this looks really good. The sculpt to it and everything looks really, really nice. This is definitely the way I will be leaving him displayed. Up next, he comes with this skeletal mouth, and this is my second favorite mouthpiece to display Galactus with because I really like the way this looks. I'm wondering if Hasbro took inspiration from Marvel Zombies Resurrection for this mouthpiece for Galactus or the Galactus engine. I'm not sure what particular uh, thing they were going for with this mouthpiece, but I think it looks really cool. 
Um, I've done a couple pictures with it using it as a zombie Galactus, so I think that looks really cool like that. And finally, there Galactus is with the effects piece for his heralds attached to his hands, and this looks really nice. After I posed them like this, Nova decided that she wanted to fall a little bit, so she's not in that flame effect the greatest. But yeah, these look incredibly nice on Galactus's hands. I can't believe how epic and awesome this looks. So now let's go ahead and take a better look at Galactus's head sculpt. Hasbro did an incredible job sculpting this. The sculpt detail to his helmet looks incredible. I like all the translucent blue pieces. Those actually light up. You just press a button on the back of his head, and then it comes on like that, and that looks phenomenal. He has eight different points that light up on his helmet, the eyes, the parts on the ears of the helmet, the two big lights on the helmet, and then these two smaller lights up here. So yeah, this looks really good lit up. It looks so awesome, and it is incredibly bright. The only downside is these lights go off on a timer. I haven't timed how long it takes, but they turn themselves off. I wish that you could just press the, the button on the back of his head again to get it to turn off, but you can't. You just have to let the, uh, the lights go off on their own. And I do think that sucks a little bit because I feel like that's going to drain the battery. These stay on. You can't switch them off. That is a, a small complaint I have with this. He has another light up feature that's on his chest right here. You just press in on this and now you get it lighting up. If the lights are off on the head sculpt, you just press the chest piece and it lights the chest and the head sculpt up. So I think that looks really cool. Just like with the lights on the head sculpt, this will go off on its own. He has some incredible sculpt detail to his armor. The circles with light blue looks really good. He has some really nice texturing to these parts of his suit. That texturing looks really good. This is a hard plastic piece that has a soft um, overlay for the skirt underneath here. And I think that looks really good. I do wish this would have been a little bit more flexible because when you're moving his arms around, you might scuff the arms if you press them too much into this. If this was a soft piece like the piece that attaches under here for the skirt, I think it would have been fine because, you know, if you were articulating his arms, this piece would have just moved up. But if you move the arms too much, you could scuff them up. I've definitely been careful not to do that. The gloves are done in a very, very nice metallic collar. He has some texturing to the knuckles of his gloves. And the articulation on these fingers is insane. You get points right here and here on the thumb. And on the rest of the fingers, you get articulation right here, here, and here. So you can actually get him making a fist since he has individual articulated fingers, which is very nice. I just think it's incredible what Hasbro did with this. I can't believe the articulation on it. The articulated fingers are so crazy to me. The skirt piece is done in a very flexible material. It's really soft and it moves out whenever you articulate the figure so it doesn't get in the way of the articulation. I think that was very nice. It'll move out like that. It'll move out like this for when you want to get Galactus kicking forward. And I think that's really awesome. I think that was very smart on Hasbro's part. And then there are Galactus's boots. They're done in that very nice metallic collar with some touches of blue to them. With these pieces above the feet right here, these are soft, so these don't hinder the articulation. They're done in the same type of material that Galactus's skirt is. And uh, like I said with the skirt, that was really smart on Hasbro's part. That way this doesn't hinder the articulation. So now that we've went over Galactus, let's go ahead and go over his articulation. So before I start the articulation, I want to give a headphone warning. A lot of the joints on Galactus are ratchet joints, um, and they are very, very noisy. So I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way before I went over his articulation. So first up, Galactus has a ball jointed head, and it's not a normal type of ball joint underneath there. It's a different type of joint so you can put uh, Galactus's head on, but it moves up and down very slightly, and it moves side to side very nicely. You get very slight tilting. Galactus has ball jointed shoulders that can move all the way out. As you can hear, they ratchet. And I'm not sure if the Sentinel did that because I didn't get that one. Um, I did hear a bunch of complaints that the Sentinel's joints got loose over time because they didn't ratchet. So Hasbro fixed that with Galactus. Even though he is really big, really hefty, all of these are on ratchet joints. So you can pose this figure around a lot and I don't think these joints will ever get loose. He has a swivel at the bicep. As you can hear, it ratchets too. He has double jointed elbows that can only bend in that far. They are just a little bit hindered due to his gloves. He has a forearm swivel that, as you can hear, is on that ratchet type joint. He has a swivel at the wrist that can move up 
and down and move side to side. And of course he has these articulated fingers. They can move back that far. And as I showed with him making the fist, they can bend in all the way. So I think that is very awesome. Galactus has a ball jointed diaphragm that can move side to side. It's not a ratchet joint, but it is a little tricky to get moving. He can crunch forward just a little bit and back just a little bit. And he also has an ab crunch right here. And I can't get that to move at all. It's very stiff and I definitely don't want to break this Galactus figure. So I don't know if it's uh, like that on all of them. But yeah, on mine, this doesn't want to move at all. And I'm definitely not going to force it to. He has ball jointed hips that can pretty much do a complete split. On the right side, his right hip doesn't quite go out all the way. But as you can see, the left hip goes out very far. The skirt does not hinder that at all. And I think that's really cool. Galactus can only kick forward and back that far. That movement is hindered just a little bit. He has a swivel at the thigh. They can move side to side very nicely. He has double jointed knees that can bend back that far. He has boot rotation that is very, very crunchy. He has ankles that can move down that far. If you move it back, you might chew the plastic up on this piece back here on the boot. It can move forward that far. And it has a pretty nice ankle rocker. It's a little stubborn to get it to move, but it is there. So, unfortunately, there will be no size comparisons for today's video just due to Galactus' size. I don't have enough room, even on my makeshift review station, uh, to do size comparisons with this Galactus figure just because he is so large. I was, however, able to get the Toy Biz Galactus Builder figure into this Galactus' hands. And yeah, that's how small the old Galactus Builder figure is compared to this Galactus. He is so tiny compared to this version. This new HasLab version really does feel like it's properly scaled for Marvel Legends. So overall, this Galactus figure is a masterpiece. Hasbro really knocked it out of the park with this figure. This really feels like a once-in-a-lifetime figure because I don't have the Sentinel, but this is definitely way better than the Sentinel. I think he's quite a bit bigger than the Sentinel, actually. The only Galactus figure I had prior to owning this one was the Toy Biz Build-A-Figure version, and that one is so tiny. Uh, this one is leagues better. So hopefully everyone that wanted one was able to get one, because this figure is phenomenal. This is not only the action figure of the year, but probably the best action figure ever made. That I'm going to go so far as to say that. I am just extremely, extremely happy with this HasLab Galactus figure. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.